Alright guys, and we're back. Welcome to episode 2 of Retro Peace Theater as we go through our playthrough of Shadowgate for the original Nintendo. Now we're going to try to speed this up a little bit. We've done some tomfoolery in the first episode, so let's, uh, let's... Heather's going to be playing through well, this as this game gives me horrible nightmares. You know, some basic explanation. Now, um, as sort of a demonstration of one of the ways that you can die in this game, um, as you noticed in the last episode, I opened the tome that was sitting here, but, you know, maybe it's really useful and you want to take it with you. So, you know, like, yeah. you never know. Oh, but wait. When you remove the book from its pedestal, the floor collapses and you fall to your death. And there we are. It's a sad thing that your adventures have ended here. So that is how easy it is. To die. Split second, you just die. Um, um, so let's go back so, to here. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, back, back. Um, I'm gonna open the book again and then get the Yeah, we gotta key get the key. Two. Yep. Yeah, 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 right thing in the hole, gotcha. Now, key two, we don't know what key two goes to. Um, did you want to try the, the door in the other room? Yeah, get, make sure you get the torches, too. Right. Oh, yeah, close torches the are your lifeline. Yeah. Now, if I was to not close the book and go to a different room, it would close that screen. Um, when I went to the different room, we wouldn't have to close the book. Oh, I see, I see. So let's go back and go back. see key two. Yeah, because key one opened the main door there. Okay. It doesn't, like, so, like, key one didn't... Wait, you're trying to move key two. Oh. Yeah. So, yeah, do pay attention to what you have clicked. That could actually get you killed. Hey, it opened. Click! The key worked! You're so excited about these keys. <laughs> hey, look! Tiny little room. Alright. Oh, as you enter, you can see a sword and a sling inside. Take mine. And the sword is in hand. Now, you see my torch is starting to burn down. Yes. So what I can do. I mean we're not we're not in danger yet, but I I'd like to be prepared. So we go like right. Backup torch. Backup torch. Now, for some reason one of these torches is in a separate slot from these torches. It could be because one of them's active. Well let's not this torch. So the torch, but you can't put a finger on it. Hmm. Hmm. All right, well, now we're done with this tiny closet room. Okay. We'll go back to where we were. <clears throat> so this passage kind of winds over to the right here. And then you've got this odd looking... Looks like a, like a crawl space stone. or something. Um, like a door to a crawl space. Let's see if we can open it. Open. It won't open. Hmm, okay, then. Maybe. There it is. Oh. As you can see again, my finger wasn't on the exact right spot. The stone falls away to reveal a secret passage. Now how me as the brave and I assume buff warrior that I am, I'm supposed to get to this tiny hole. Very carefully. You know. Um, well, let's go. Let's see what's in here. As soon as you enter the room, you see an arrow on the front wall. Mm. Oh, and torches. <clears throat> well, we're going to take the arrow a good in rule of thumb with this game, except for that tome in the previous room, is to take everything. Which, you know, if you've never um, played this before, that can make you second guess that. That's true. Um, now, as you can see, the torches, I can't, I can't take them. Can you, can you like, use them? Are they like switches on a wall? And then the only place you have to move is forward. Yeah. The ledge wasn't strong enough to hold you. You fall to the ground and land hard on your rump. So there's that. Um, we can try to use these torches, see if they do anything. Nothing happened. Uh, you moved the torch. Okay, alright. It's a hidden door. There's a spiral staircase leading down. Should we go down there? Let's go down there. Alright. Now, we have two bridges. You stand at the edge of a deep chasm. From the darkness below arise the screams of the undead. That's, uh, inviting. This cave is hewn roughly in the chasm's wall. So we have two very different uh, looking bridges here. Yeah. Judging by the intricate workmanship, this bridge seems to be quite sturdy. That's a good sign, right? And then we have... This shabby bridge is held together with nothing but frayed ropes and rotten planks. The ropes are indeed in bad condition. So, you know, I, I think I'm not gonna go 
that way. The obvious way that might kill you. It yeah. does, yeah. So let's, uh, let's go over here. Ah, what's this? A rake that's standing in your way, barring your path. So, you know. Um, huh. While I'm standing here, I'm gonna take some more torches. Yep. Uh, let's look at this rake guy. It's a shadow wraith, a hideous specter who eternally walks the line between life and death. Oh, you know, you probably wouldn't want to invite him over for Sunday brunch. Probably not. Probably not. And then there's a thing hanging over here. This heavy cloak contains no frivolous adornments, such as pockets or a hood. I don't think it's pockets as being frivolous, man. Right, well, you know, it's Middle pockets. Ages. Right. So, we have this wraith. Um, I mean, we can't. I'm gonna save real quick. Are you, are you gonna die? Are you gonna kill? Are you gonna? Um, are you just gonna kill yourself? Let's see what happens if we try to go past the right. right. You have to open the door before you go oh, through it. Oh, yeah, that's my big concern right now. Is if like the door isn't open. You're afraid to get near it. Okay, so the wraith is scared. So what do we want to do with the wraith? I mean, we can run away if you want. Is it flammable? Okay. Can you use a torch on it? What do I want to use this on? No! Wait a minute! Best if you don't do that. Wait, can, what about the other torch? What, what about the odd it? torch? So if we light this different torch. Torch burns with a strange white flame. With a shout, you throw the flaming torch at it. With a blinding flash, the white flame engulfs the undead apparition. When you open your eyes again, the wraith is gone. That's nice. I'm gonna take this cloak. Okay, and in an example of things you can use on yourself, um, you can put the cloak on. What do you want to use this on? Myself. So, you try on the cloak and find it very unbecoming. It barely fits over your armor. Yeah, you know, you never know, you might need a good cloak. So we will open this door. Okay. The door is open. Now there's an entrance or something over here, but it's too high for the reef. So we'll just go through this door. The small stone chamber is lined on one side by two barred portals. Hmm, what are these barred portals? Sturdy bars seal this cage. Your nose detects the presence of a concealed animal. Ew. You can hear a faint scratching from within the dark depths behind the bars. I think we're just not, you know, going to deal with that. Let's look at this, uh... It's an ancient leather-bound parchment. Yeah, that. Is it gonna let me... Okay, well, let's open it. The scroll one is open. Yeah, they have really creative names in this game for, you know, keys and scrolls. <laughs> Key one, scroll one. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Alright. Your hands begin to sweat because of your extreme excitement. You're a really excitable person. You are. Alright, let's see. Five defined, three or one. One gives access, the bladed sun. The silver orb to banish below, the staff of ages to vanquish the foe. Joining two, the golden blade, the last to invoke, the platinum horn. It doesn't rhyme. Yeah, that does seem really important, so we're gonna take it. It does seem important. <laughs> could could be something, because I'm not gonna remember that later. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Uh, so we got some bottles up there. It's a small silver bottle. What is it? It sure smells terrible. Ah, uh, well. Uh, we got this one. The small silver vial glows with a lustrous shine. You notice that the bottle is impossibly light. How heavy could it really be? Uh, so we'll take the bottle one and the bottle two. Can you take a torch? Yes, we will take a torch. Alright. And then we have on the wall here this oh, word. Epor. The sign reads Epor. Can you speak it? Mm. Speak the sign. You seem to be wasting your time. Maybe can we use? Nothing happened. Mm. Uh, well, no, hang on, that back wall looks kind of odd. Yeah, you kind of see... Like an outline. Uh, Is that a door? Can you... Let's look at it. 
damp air is blowing out of a gap in the stone wall. All right, so, all right, so next episode we're gonna figure out what's going on here. Next time. Next time uh, on Retro Theater. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.